Hi, it's Katrina. From a shipwreck worth millions to standing stones older than Stonehenge, here are nine incredible archaeological discoveries found in the desert. Number 9. Shipwreck Treasure The last thing you might expect to find in the desert is a shipwreck, but apparently there are many shipwrecks often found along Africa's skeleton coast. Portuguese sailors once called this place the Gates of Hell because the waters were so dangerous. De Beers Mining Company had located a mining site in Namibia right on the surf zone, but the waves made mining impossible. So they made a huge sea wall creating a lagoon and then pumped the water out. As they did, they noticed strange pieces of wood and metal scattered around. Geologists notified the chief archaeologist of the Southern Africa Institute of Maritime Archaeological Research, who dated the ship to the early 16th century. Then, on day 6, they found a treasure chest full of gold. The ship was officially identified as the Bom Jesus, or the Good Jesus, a Portuguese ship that went missing 500 years ago while en route to India. The ship was loaded down with 2,000 gold coins, tin, ivory tusks, and 44,000 pounds of copper ingots when it apparently went to its watery grave. The gold alone is worth about $9 million. So who gets to keep the gold? In this case, the ship belonged to the King of Portugal, but Portugal generously waived their rights to the find, allowing the country of Namibia to keep it. Number 8. Fossilized Whale one look at the barren Egyptian desert and it's hard to imagine that 50 million years ago it was once covered by a vast prehistoric ocean. Egypt gets only a few inches of rain a year, but bodies of whales are emerging from the shifting sands of the Sahara Desert. Known as Wadi al-Hitan or Valley of the Whales, the area contains a fascinating collection of the ancient bones of sea creatures that are now long extinct, the Archaeoceti. The bones have been preserved under centuries of dirt and sand, offering researchers and paleontologists an exciting new glimpse into the past. The species of whales we have today and the ones that existed long ago are very different. Over time, legs became more and more unnecessary for the seafaring creatures, but some of the Archaeoceti skeletons found still have their legs and toes intact. This means the ancient whale ancestor once walked on land and only went into the water when it felt like it like a hippopotamus. These ancient bones demonstrate how whales evolved from land-based animals to ocean dwellers. Whales found at the site include the Bacillosaurus, which was a large predatory whale measuring 49 to 66 feet long, and the smaller Dorodon that measured around 16 feet long and fed on small fish. The well-preserved remains from millions of years ago help us to imagine what the lost Tethys Sea was once like. It is now a World Heritage Site and Open Air Museum, where you can go yourself and appreciate the diversity of marine life 40 million years ago in the middle of the desert. Number 7. Ghost Town You wouldn't be able to tell if you were to look at Colmanskop today, but over a hundred years ago, it was one of the richest communities in the world. In 1908, diamonds were discovered in the area. It's rumored that there were so many diamonds that people were on their hands and knees just picking them out of the sand. Coleman Scott became a booming mining town in the middle of the Namibian desert. Houses went up along with schools, ballrooms, casinos, hospitals, factories, and also the first x-ray station in the region. Adventurers and diamond seekers flocked to the city with high hopes of building their fortunes. In 1912, town was responsible for producing nearly 12% of diamonds in the world. Literally, a diamond in the rough, Coleman Scott became the epicenter of luxury in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, the gems didn't last. New technology and machinery practically scraped the desert clean by the 1930s, and the town's riches depleted tremendously. New diamond deposits were found 168 miles near Namibia's border, and families and miners moved on. The town was essentially abandoned, and the harsh desert sands have since swept through and reclaimed the city. The eerie scene left behind is quite the sight to see, and Kolmanskop is now a popular tourist destination. Are you a fan of ghost towns? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Arabian Stone Gates Leave it to Google Earth to help make an amazing discovery in one of the world's biggest deserts. In 2017, archaeologists uncovered 400 stone structures that they believe were built thousands of years ago. Thought to have been built by the ancestors of modern-day Bedouins, the structures known as gates are at least 2,000 years old, but some believe they could have been built as far back as 9,000 years. Modern-day Bedouin people call them the works of the old men. The stones are stacked about three feet high, but they don't look like much at ground level. 
It wasn't until they were recently seen from the sky that we could tell exactly what they looked like and how many there were. David Kennedy, an archaeologist from the University of Western Australia, said that he refers to them as gates because when you view them from above, they look like a simple field gate lying flat, two upright posts on the sides connected by one or more long bars. For years, Kennedy cataloged the nearly 400 gates, with the longest measuring more than 1,600 feet long. But how did they get there in the vast desert plains of Saudi Arabia? These structures are difficult to spot from the ground as they are hidden away in the barren landscape of the desert, but once you see them from a satellite view, they stand out perfectly. Other structures are shaped like kites, and archaeologists now believe that these shapes were used to funnel stampedes of gazelles and other migrating animals into the structure to prepare them for slaughter. A new study published on these stone structures claims that humans may have driven a species of gazelle to the brink of extinction. These mass hunting techniques would have been spiritually significant social events, and done on such a large scale even thousands of years ago would have had a catastrophic impact on the animal population. Number 5. Gibeon Meteorites Space rocks found in the deserts of Namibia have been used by ancient people for thousands of years. These mysterious rocks came to the attention of Englishman Captain J. E. Alexander, and rumors began that they perhaps held alien magic. 600 million years ago, a meteor hurled towards the Earth, shattering into over 100 pieces that were then strewn all across the desert. The captain was traveling in Africa and heard about large masses of iron rock, mostly around the village of Gibeon, earning them the name of the Gibeon meteorites. He went to go see them for himself and sent a sample back to London, where an astronomer discovered that it had a high quantity of nickel and said it was from an iron meteorite. Locals used the rocks to make tools and weapons. Tribesmen in the Kalahari Desert used them as the arrowheads and tips of their spears and javelins, believing they would give them extra alignment and balance. Since the first discovery of these meteorites, more than 25 tons of Gibeon meteorites have been recovered. Lines and patterns found on the outside of the rocks are the result of cooling in outer space over billions of years. Until recently, most that were recovered weighed between 200 and 1,000 pounds, but one of the largest ever found weighs in at a whopping 1,400 pounds. They each have a distinctive look due to the change in temperature when they entered the Earth's atmosphere. Friction raises the surface temperature above its melting point, and then, as the meteorite descends, the temperature drops, resulting in a thin layer of dark glass on the exterior. They also sometimes develop shallow pits that resemble thumbprints. Many of them are now on display, and any meteorite found in Namibia is automatically protected as a national monument and cannot be damaged or removed. Number 4. Ancient Megaliths While you are most likely very familiar with Stonehenge in the UK, there is a place with standing stones in Egypt that was built thousands of years before Stonehenge. Nabta Playa is considered the world's first astronomical site. People here use the massive stone circles to create a type of calendar which would align with the sun and stars to mark the seasons, the solstices, equinoxes, and served as a ceremonial site. This place dates back to 7,500 BC and was discovered 700 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. It is the oldest stone circle in the world, constructed by a cult of nomadic people who worshipped cattle. The megaliths may have played an important part in their lives, as they would have used the stars to travel across the desert to locate watering holes. Back then, people navigated using stars and the circular motion of the heavens. The structure was found in the 1970s while Egypt planned a major dam project along the Nile. At that time, an American archaeologist named Fred Wendorf, with the help of a local guide, found an area where a series of large stone megaliths sat lying on the ground in the middle of nowhere. At first, Wendorf believed they were natural formations, but on further inspection he realized the site was once a large lake bed and that the stone circles were something more remarkable. It would take several decades and years of excavations to uncover the mystery of the stones. J. McKim Malville, professor and archaeoastronomy expert, reports that this is human beings' first attempt to make a serious connection with the heavens. This was the dawn of observational astronomy, he adds. What in the world did they think about it? Did they imagine these stars were gods? And what kinds of connections did they have with the stars and the stones? Malville and others believe the complex and symbolic Nabta culture may have been the precursor civilization for the great advanced ancient Egyptian society that eventually built the famous pyramids 4,500 years ago. Number 3. Underground Ethiopian Churches 
In the northern Ethiopian town of Lalibela, there are 11 monolithic churches that locals believe were built by angels. Carved into the mountains and plunging 130 to 165 feet into the earth, the buildings have cross-shaped openings that let the sunlight filter into their hollow interiors. Although the local people may believe that all 11 churches were completed by King Lalibela in one night with the help of an army of angels, there are other equally strange theories about how they got there. Some believe that the builders were the Knights Templar, the mysterious group of Christian crusaders who were at their most powerful during the 13th century. King Lalibela wanted to create a new Jerusalem after he visited the Holy Land himself before it was taken over by Muslim forces. Thousands attend daily services inside the churches as people stream in and out of the underground temples throughout the day. The churches were not built in a traditional way but hollowed out from the rock creating blocks under the surface of the earth. These blocks form doors, windows, columns, and floors. This massive work also has trenches and ceremonial passages, some with openings to hermit caves and catacombs. Narrow passageways lead down to the entrances, where inside, sculptures and crosses decorate the walls. Unfortunately, time has not been kind to all of the structures, with some needing sheet metal to prevent erosion. The churches are now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and are visited by hundreds of thousands of pilgrims every year. Number 2. The Ruins of Casa Grande If you ever wanted to capture a glimpse into America's prehistoric history, a trip to the Arizona desert might be in order. There you can see the Casa Grande Ruins, a four-story dirt pueblo that has survived for centuries. Built in 1350 by the ancient Sonoran people, the group is believed to have descended from early hunter-gatherers around 5,500 BC. Strangely enough, their structure was abandoned only a century later. With no writing left behind, no one knows much about the people who built Casa Grande, but there is some evidence of their agricultural practices. The most well-known building is the Great House, but there are other hints of the Sonoran people through the valley, stretching from Tucson to Phoenix. There are also a series of canals that stretch hundreds of miles and moved water from the river to their fields, as well as elements that allowed these ancient people to observe the summer solstice, the equinoxes, and to measure a phenomenon known as the lunar standstill that occurs every 18.6 years. But it was during the late 1300s to early 1400s that the ancestral people of the Sonoran Desert began to abandon the area. Some think it could have been from a multitude of reasons, including disease, natural disasters, drought, or floods. With the area abandoned, the only ties known to this ancient settlement are modern-day American native groups who have ancestral links to these people. They keep the spirit of their forefathers alive by continuing to honor cultural traditions, while researchers share the archaeological finds at Casa Grande as one of the tallest ancient American ruins that continue to inspire awe and curiosity. Number 1. New Nazca Lion Cat Found The Nazca Lions are one of the most puzzling creations of the ancient world. The lions, carved into the deserts of Peru, are made up of several hundred geometric and biomorphic figures. They were created by removing rocks and earth to reveal the contrasting material below. It is said that these served as indicator maps or as gifts to the gods, and to this day they continue to cause speculation and wonder. Now, a new etching has been found, adding extra fuel to the historical fire in southern Peru. Like most of the other Nazca lines, the cat design dates back to between 200 BC and 100 BC. This new feline image was discovered when work was performed to give better access to one of the nearby hills that offers a vantage point over the other ancient designs. Made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, the Nazca Lines are located 250 miles south of Lima and stretch some 175 square miles along Peru's coastal plains. Experts say the design was almost missed because of its location on a very steep slope. As natural erosion threatens these geoglyphs, luckily conservationists were able to clean and preserve it, highlighting the 120-foot-long image of the cat. In recent years, 80 to 100 new designs have been uncovered, some of which predated the Nazca culture, showing that multiple groups took to the hills to create these larger-than-life etchings. As technology continues to evolve, some researchers have taken to using drones in order to get a better look at these ancient etchings. With more than 1,000 geoglyphs already known about, the discovery of this newest design adds more evidence to the idea that there could still be more hidden images out there just waiting to be found. Thanks for watching! What do you think of these incredible desert discoveries? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!